गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज आवर जियोग्राफी क्लास एंड एज वी ऑल नो दैट इन आवर ऑफलाइन क्लास इन आवर स्कूल वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड हाफ ऑफ द चैप्टर सिक्स स्टडी ऑफ कंटिनेंट्स नॉर्थ अमेरिक एंड इन दैट चैप्टर we have completed the topics like western cordilleras canadian sheet two topics left that is appalachian highlands and central lowlands so in today's class we are going to discuss about the appalachian highlands Appalachian Highlands are old fold mountain situated along the eastern side of the continent their average height varies from 1000 meter to 1800 meter the major mountain range in these in this highland includes the green mountains the white mountains and the blue rich mountain mitishel with 2037 meter altitude is the highest point now we can see a photo of appalachian appalachian highlands lying to the east of the appalachian mountains there is low plate region called the piedmont plate this plateau slopes eastward and drop steeply steeply into the atlantic coast plain there are many waterfall and rapids found along the steep slope of the plateau these are greatly used for generating hydroelectricity these rivers are river hudson river Delville and River Batavia. This region has vast deposit of iron ore, coal, zinc, limestone, and granite. It has the iron ore, coal, zinc, limestone, granite deposits. The falls have created a fall line, and all the falls together create a fall line. There are many short river which rise in the Appalachian mountains all of them flow into the Atlantic Ocean These mountains are known for rich deposit of coal copper and lead These slopes are covered with extensive forest and it is covered with the forest Now the next topic is central lowland central lowland is also called the barrier the barrier is a french word which means meadow of grassland bugyal meadow means bugyal this is one of the biggest and the most fertile plain in the world This region lies between the Appalachian Mountain in the east and the Rocky Mountain in the west. The east-west extent is about 2,000 kilometers. That stretches from the delta of the River Mackenzie near the Arctic Ocean in the north to the Gulf of Mexico in the south for about 6,000 kilometers. these plains have been formed by denudation of the land by glacier and the rivers the southern part of the region has the mississippi and the missouri river the longest river of north america these are the longest river of the north america these river deposit fertile arable soil in in this region the entire region is extensively cultivated and this whole region is extensively cultivated rivers north america has several large rivers 
द मोस्ट नोट वर्थी एमंग दैम आर द रिवर मिसिसिपी मैकेजी सेंट लेरेंस कोलोरेडो एंड कोलम्बिया अ ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन द रिवर आर गिविन हिव द रिवर ड्रेनिंग नॉर्थवर्ड इन टू द आर्टिक ओशन हडसन बे रिवर मैगजीन सेशकेचुआन एंड द नेल्स रिवर ड्रेनिंग ईस्टवर्ड इन टू द नॉर्थ अटलेंटिक ओशन रिवर सेंट लेरेंस हडसन and the fall night river like the potomac and the dale bay the st lawrence river con- connects and drains the great lakes it is the most important inland waterway in the world as it connects the lakes of the atlantic ocean providing routes for the ocean going vessel now the rivers draining westward and southwards into the pacific ocean river yukon columbia fraser and snake river draining south and southeast wards into the gulf of mexico like river mississippi and missouri and these their tributary like the river arkansas red ohio and tennessee and the rio granite Rio Grande Rio Grande River forms most of the boundary between USA and Mexico. All these rivers have helped in the development of the economy of the North America as they provide water and fertile soil for agriculture and the generation of the hydroelectric power. Now the lakes of North America. North America has the largest number of lakes. they have a lot of lakes most of the lake are located in central lowland and mostly the lakes are located in the central lowland the great lakes found in these plains are the largest body of the water in the north america these lake include five lake namely first one is lake superior lake michigan lake huron lake erie and lake ontario Niagara Falls is situated in the Niagara River which drains Lake Erie into Ontario Lake. Lake Superior is the largest of the Great Lakes and also the largest freshwater lake in the world. The Great Bear, the Great Slave, the Athabasca and the Winnipeg are the most important lakes of the canada the old faithful geyser in the yellowstone national park is the most famous geyser now the highest peak of the north america the highest peak of the north america are the mount mcinley alaska usa in 16894 meter mount logan saint eddie mountain canada 5 59 meter 5959 meter mount pico de orizaba neo volcanic mexico 5636 meter mount saint elias saint elias mountains canada 5489 meter mount popo santipedi neo volcanic mexico 5414 meter so that's all from this class students case study the lumberjacks of canada lumbering we will study discuss in our next class till then read the chapter rest chapter you have to read at your home and if you have any problem regarding this chapter you can ask me after completing this chapter i will provide you the pdf of the exercise and question answer in the group itself till then read the chapter stay safe stay healthy thank you